Hey yo, it's Loki Waffles, and today I'm going to be talking about what made the Tears of the Kingdom build up so special to me. Um, so around the time Breath of the Wild came out, I was pretty young and not old enough to really well I was old but not old enough to really keep up with it. I was still a Zelda fanatic, I just wasn't as aware of it as I was now, as I am now, so um it's a vastly different experience than what happened six years ago. Oh, and just a side note, what I'm designing here is a Tears of the Kingdom link sticker that I'm going to be selling at an event soon. Hopefully I'll have it up on Etsy and then I can like post a little short about it, but as of now I don't have any like online stores that I'm on yet. Oh, and I have no idea who- obviously that's official art in the corner, but the rest of them I have no idea who the references are, and I feel really bad about that, but I couldn't really figure out where they came from. But it's gorgeous art and really helpful in like s helping me to simplify certain details on Link's outfit. Oh, and also um, in the more in the corner where you see the Legend of Zelda thing, that is uh, some <laughs> very cinematic trailer music I was listening to the whole time to kind of get in the mood, I guess. But I didn't put it in this video because I don't know. I was a little scared of like copyright stuff. Anyway, that's that's all I had to say about that. And on to. So first off is the Zelda community. That's part of what made my experience so special in this case. I'm not on main social media platforms a lot except for YouTube and a bit of Pinterest just because I don't really prefer to be on that. So um, YouTube was my main platform and I followed people like uh, Bandit Games, Monster Maze, uh, Zeltic, I watched a bit of Zeltic or Tosker and they're all just so cool and they had a lot of ideas and they're so funny and i just think it was really cool how a lot of them did see spoilers a lot of them did see the leaks but they wanted no part in featuring it on their channels probably because of nintendo's super strict um copyright stuff but also because they're honorable folks they don't want to spoil the game for us and i think that's really neat and i'm really glad that i can still be a part of the community without having to be exposed to things that I maybe didn't want to see. And I understand that everybody has their own responsibility to make sure that they don't see things they don't want to online. But also, it's just a vastly easier task when the people that you love to watch and that you lo the community that you want to be a part of isn't actively um, encouraging certain leaks. Because it would really stink if this game was um just you know spoiled for me out of nowhere if i knew everything that happened just because i was online at the wrong time so that's the first thing i'm glad of the community which is so amazing um the second thing is part of the community the theories those were just so fun to participate in and think about like i have literal brain rot for zelda the closer we get to it the closer we get to tears of the kingdom the more i'm reading in different theories and ideas based on character design, music, just even the way the logo looks. All of these theories um, were in part from the community, but also in part from Nintendo. They, they were so careful and so amazing with the way they crafted their trailer. They left every trailer they released as we came closer and closer to the date. Somehow it was too much and just enough or too much and too little it was just they gave us a whole lot of information but at the same time they gave us virtually nothing and they left little clues everywhere context clues um music like i said music clues clues in the logo clues in the world and environment that link finds himself in and the best thing is like we can only guess we can't even know unless you're looking at leaks but other than that um, we can just, they put, made the trailers in such a perfect way that it was ripe for th theorizing, and I'm so happy that Nintendo knows their audience, and, um, knows who, what kind of people like Zelda, because it is so fun to just figure out, form your own theories, just try and find out what's going on, but, like, not too much, and you don't have to figure out too much, because... 
there isn't that much to figure out with the bare bones they've given us in the trailer, even the most recent trailer. It shows a lot, but at the same time, who are all these people? Where do they come from? It's just, I'm very thankful for the way this played out, and even though the wait was super long and kind of obnoxious at times when they delayed it, it the pipe that Nintendo built up for it, it was unbeatable, and I'm so glad they did it. The third is another aspect that um, was part of the community, is part of the community, and that's the artists. Within like probably hours of the trailers coming out, the internet was just flooded with these gorgeous renditions, this beautiful art of what they saw in the trailer, of whether it be the character designs or just like <laughs> the monsters in general. Honestly, the artists are definitely what part what makes this build up so special as evidenced by the stuff in the corner, it was not hard to find a multitude, a plethora, of Zelda art that I could use to reference, which unfortunately without credit, I wish I could give credit. You artists out there who made that art, you know who you are. Um, but seriously, the art is one of the best parts of being in the Zelda community. I can't go one day without seeing something new and breathtaking that a fan has lovingly created from their own hands. And so that's the part I wanted to feature here because the art for Tears of the Kingdom um, that fans have created is so great and so pretty. I'm so glad that I am an artist and I can be part of that type of community as well. And finally, the last thing that made this build up so special is the gameplays that Nintendo did a little while ago. I don't know, but for me, that just sealed the deal. It gave us a tiny taste of what could possibly be for this game, and I'm so here for it. I watched Celtic's stream, I think, with um, Monster Maze and a couple other people while, he, like, after he had played the game, and it was really exciting. Some people might consider what they did a little spoilery, but I say as long as it doesn't have anything to do with the stories, you're home free and um for me at least everybody's different and just the gameplays were really cool and i'm so grateful that those happened as well because i fear i would have gone mad if i hadn't gotten one last taste before the game came out of like what it would be like what to expect and like it wasn't too much i don't think there was these parts that zeltic was not allowed to talk about and rightfully so so it still kept like the game secret the whole nature of the game secret but it still allowed you to like see how the combat might be played out and already got my and many other people's imaginations running wild also can we take a moment to appreciate the meat arrow such a beautiful creation i'm so glad that well i mean i wouldn't i think i would have thought of it but like in six years and definitely not right away Unless they gave me a slab of meat right at the beginning and narrow and explicitly <laughs> said to put it together. But the meat arrow, beautiful creation. Um, so yeah, so definitely the gameplays were really instrumental in just the hype. And that's like the final bit, I guess, is the hype. I literally could not sleep last night because I was like, oh my gosh, Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in less than a week. And so super exciting super just unbelievable it's been so long i mean breath of the wild was pretty much my childhood and i'm so excited to see a game that hopefully will treat its former well but can also have an identity that stands on its own it's just i'm again i can't stress how unbelievably excited i am and what do you guys think are you like super excited for the game are you hoping for like dungeons or are you more of a breath of the wild person where you like just the freedom and the small shrines dotted across the land what kind of zelda game do you want next after tears of the kingdom please let me know in the comments i mean it'd be pretty interesting and if you're watching you're probably part of the zelda community so i'd like to hear what you think are you excited for the game because i sure am anyways that's all i have to say about that I guess we can talk about the speed paint now, but I mean, it's coming to a pretty close end. 
so I had a bit of trouble designing the sticker, but overall, I really like my design. Unfortunately, after I designed this and Zelda, my Cricut machine dreadfully failed me, so that was really unfortunate, especially as I had a lot of product to make right before I um, sold my thing, so I was just like cutting it all by hand and it kind of hurt, especially because there was a Cricut there standing just un it didn't care about my suffering <laughs> but um yeah so that's that and again the designing process was fun especially with that tears of the kingdom trailer music just blaring in my head <laughs> it really got me into the mood but uh yeah here he is just doing the lighting with the overlay and all that um, I figured YouTube kind of likes this kind of video right now, and I mean, I'm not gonna make content that I don't like, and I have literal brain rot for Zelda right now, as I've stated before, so, there's that. So, that's why I've decided to start making these kinds of speed paint videos, because I literally cannot think of anything else right now. Oh, and, um, on that note, I'll leave you alone for a little while. You can skip to the... Um, part where I start talking again if you like that or you can just keep watching me uh, do the shadow and stuff like that so yeah the shading what you know what it is anyway see ya Okay, that's the end of the speed pit. Thank you so much viewers for um, watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like, drop if you want to drop a like and leave a comment and maybe subscribe cuz that really helps uh, growing as a super super small YouTuber. Um, here's the final product for my stickers and thank you so much for watching. See ya.